I remember not sleeping on any of the planes until after our eight over layover in Paris. And I didn't sleep on the eight over layover. Got to call home, so that was cool. Um, but I was asleep on the plane before we even took off. I was just exhausted. And then I woke up and we were over Africa. And I think we had about 20 minutes to land. So you can kind of see like the city lights from there. So it was kind of like, well, like, this is where I'm going. And what I remember most is when we landed, um, it was the first time I've ever seen it. I mean, I've seen it in movies or experienced it where they had the, like the stairwell that came up and you just exited the plane by walking down. And I just remember, you know, filing through, kind of waiting through, you know, like, oh, like I'm about to step, you know, onto Africa soil. Um, and I just remember as soon as I stepped out of the plane, it went from, you know, just dehumidified to just, just the heat. And the best way I can describe it is like, you have a bathroom with no windows closed, no ventilation, and you just have it on hot, hot water right and you have it there for like 20 minutes and then you walk out and then you come in and it's just like the heat and that just it's humid yeah it's humid and you're just like oh like, you know it felt like the bathroom and you're like where's the door to leave but there's nowhere to go and you're just kind of that's just how it was for two years <laughs> um you're gonna you're gonna sweat you know, when you're, when you're sleeping, when you're, you're sitting there. Um, but when you start walking around, you're just going to look like you went swimming. <laughs> you sweat all the time. For two years, get used to it. <laughs> First day is, I remember we got picked up by the, the APs along with the mission president. And I just remember, you know, we're in a truck. Uh, the mission car was a, was a truck and we pulled up to the stoplight behind these other taxis and there's just motos just started filing in between you know they're just cut in front of you there's this much space in between you know the car in front of you and they they squeeze through there because they see more space on the right side than on the left so they go over here the best way to describe it is like you know you get a jar with rocks you put the rocks in and then the motos are just like the sand that you pour I mean, there's just no space and as soon as it turns green everyone just goes so I just remember, you know, sitting in the car and just like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> just, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of motos. By, by moto, I mean like motorcycles and stuff, mopeds and Vespas. They just have them all. And unfortunately for our mission, the closest temple was Ghana, which um, in, in my area is, a, I guess, like, you know, four hour drive, bus ride, you know, however you transport or, or take the transport over there. Uh, so it wasn't, you know, s super difficult for members to get over there. Um, the branch presidents and, um, uh, you know, district presidents, they would, they would organize temple trips fairly often, or I thought like every three months or so. Um, members would have to pay, you know, a, a little bit, um, but it wasn't nothing, it was nothing too, too, too extravagant I don't know too too much um, to where it was possible for them to go so that was good um, in Togo there was it wasn't a stake yet so it was branches and district you know it was a district and it was the same for Benin as well and actually when I I think my last week two weeks I think I had two weeks left in my mission um, I, I was I was in Benin at the time and and Cotonou, and um, Togo became a stake. So I, I missed it, but um, the whole time that I was in Togo, they're they're building a uh, a chapel. So I have some pictures of when it was just completely just cinder block and just rebar and just just looked like you know the start of a, a house kind of thing and. Um, I had pictures when it was finished because I served in Togo for a year. So after a year, I uh, got a picture of it done. Like the exterior was done, interior was not. And then I got transferred to Benin. And eventually that opened up and became a mistake.